Hi, ladies. Welcome to my um, workshop live. Um, I'm Julie Gilson and I'm with Stampin' Gala. I'm really happy to be back, but I have to warn you, I do have somewhat of a cold, so my voice probably sounds a little bit um, funny. So bear with me. Anyway, I'm so happy to be back. We had a great time. Um, it was more beautiful than I even thought it would be. And I want to go back to Windsor. We went to, um, let me see, we went to Norway and then we stayed five days in England and we we're in London mainly, but we did go to Windsor, to the Windsor Castle and it is stunning. We want to go back there real soon. But anyway, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for um, hanging out with me tonight. I do have um, some really pretty projects and I'm looking at the screen right now. It doesn't really do it justice, but um, this is Lemon Lime Twist, and I have, this is Melon Mambo and Bubble Bath in there. So, and I also mixed my gems here. I have the rhinestones, and I also have these loose um, se silver sequins on there as well. And this is really cute, I think. This is a little treat holder, but I got these at Starbucks. Um, they're little chocolate coins, and... What's really cool about it is the largest circle in the stylish shapes fits it exactly. So anyway, I hope that you like these. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. There's a lot of specials going on this month, so I'll be talking to you about them as, we, as I go through um, the presentation today. Okay, so I think what I'll do is start with this one here. And ladies, as always, if you'd like to have these make and takes for free sent to your home. All you have to do is place a minimum $40 order, but please make sure you use this host code so I know what it's for. Um, and I'm going to show you, I'm using this Everlasting Beauty stamp set today. And if it looks familiar to you, I did use it for my Simple Sunday and Makeover Monday. So this was Simple Sunday. So you can see it looks a little bit different. I used Highland Heather on this one and um, Granny Apple Green and then the Makeover Monday. So I just think they're really pretty. I, I happen to love this the color combination here as well. Okay, so let me grab my stuff and we'll get started. Okay, we're going to do this one first right here. Okay, so let me just push this out of the way and... I'll just put this up here. All right. So first of all, I have a piece of cardstock. And again, this is Lemon Lime Twist. It is 11 by four and a quarter and scored at five and a half. Okay. All right. Then what I did was I took a piece of basic white. And this is three and an eighth by five and a half. And then this is um, from the Glorious Gingham DSP, and this is three by five and a half. So we're going to put these two together. I may have to trim it up just a little bit, but we'll see. Anyway, um, and ladies, thank you so much for placing your orders while I was gone. Um, I am, the um, packages are just about complete. Uh, I just have to send out invoices for the... Um, what do you call it, the shipping, and they'll be on their way, okay? And that was for the ordering special. If you placed an order, um, if it was over 100, you, I matched whatever you spent with um, both use, um, slightly used products and also new products. So anyway, um, be watching for that if you um, did place an order for those. It was a great turnout, so I appreciate it. Okay, so I put this together, and this is just going to go on right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up with the fold first, because if there's any excess, I'm going to take it off the bottom. That way I don't cut the fold. So, lady, there's, ladies, there's a fantastic um, new sign-up special that um, is going on. Normally, you know that it cost $99 plus tax to sign up as a demonstrator. And you don't have to do what I do. You can you just use it for a discount, uh, uh, 
for all your purchases, you would get a minimum of 20% off. But going on right now, you get to pick out $155 worth of product. Oh, this is cut perfectly, so I don't need to trim anything. So if you'd like to know more about it, um, you can let me know, and I'd be happy to um, give you information. But we already have some people that have signed up this month on my team. So if you're interested, I'd love to have you sign up as well. Okay, so we're going to ink this up with Versamark. It seems like every time I go on a trip, I come back with a cold. And uh, it's I've been sick for about two weeks now. Now, I am using Fluid 100 watercolor paper. So as you can tell, I was pushing pretty hard on here so that it will take effect because it is, it's not real smooth like our regular cardstock. It has a little bit of a texture to it. So I want it to make sure that we get it in all the grooves. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and heat this. And I use silver embossing powder. Don't forget to share um, this video if you like what you see. It just helps me reach a larger audience and helps me to grow my business. So I truly appreciate it. This is the first time I turned on the gun for a while, so it's taken a little bit longer than normal. And you do want to make sure that it's all heated because if it's not, it'll rub right off and you won't be happy. Okay, so here you go. Here is the image here. So I'm just going to watercolor it. And I'm going to start with the Melon Mambo. And I'm using just a water painter. The special for the, um, are you, Janet, are you asking about the special for the sign up? That is just on through the month of June. In addition to that, we have another awesome special that's going on, and it is the um, designer series paper special. So if you um, are, would like to stock up on some designer series paper, it's 15% off this, this month as well. So now's a good time for that as well. If you know you're going to be needing it in the next couple of months, you might as well get it now and save um, a little bit of money. So Stampin' Up! announced the next trip as well. Some of you may have already heard, but it is um, to Disney World. So... At first, I wasn't all that excited about it, but then I thought about it because I want to take Jackson to Disney World, and I was going to have to pay for it, so now I don't. <laughs> so that kind of works out nice, nicely, I should say. Okay, so I'm going to switch this. I cleaned off my brush a little bit, and I'm going to pull in Bubble Bath. I do too, Nicole. And then we're just going to kind of scribble in the bubble bath so it's a little bit lighter. Okay. Now we'll clean this off again. And I'm switching to Lemon Lime Twist. I'm just going to get this on here. For those of you that travel a lot, I swear this jet lag is real. And I do have to tell you, um, I am so upset. One of my friends, she um, was searched coming when we were leaving um, Heathrow, London Heathrow. They 
searched her for about an hour, her baggage and everything, her carry-ons, not her regular luggage. And they stole all her jewelry. And it's just, and her, her favorite necklace was in there that her husband had just given her. And um, the only reason it was in there and not on her is because she accidentally broke it. And, and it was a diamond necklace and they took it along with all her other jewelry. So it's terrible. Okay, this um, stamp set is called Everlasting Beauty. And let me show it to you again. And I'm using this image, this image, and this image, okay, for today. Okay, so this is going to go on here after I die cut it. So let me pull the die in, the die cutting machine. I normally don't die cut on screen, but I'm going to today. Okay, so I'm using these um, dies, and this is the countryside corners. And just a little tip, you always want to put the number of dies on here because then you know if one is missing before you throw out garbage. <laughs> I always um, check and make sure I have everything. Okay, so we're going to put this on here. I want to get it as even as possible. That looks pretty good. Okay, so we have this. I don't know what I something. Oh, it's a piece of fuzz. Okay, then what I did was I just cut out a piece of um, lemon lime cardstock, and I'm just going to center this directly on here and um, adhere it. Okay, so this is going to go right here. And it should be pretty good, and it, it is. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to take, um, this is one of my favorites. Um, this is in the ribbon um, duo pack. So I'm going to wrap this around and tie a bow. And I believe my um, retreat for the fall is sold out now. So um, if you're interested, I, I am taking um, people for the waiting list. And the cruise um, is just about sold out too. In fact, some of my friends that have not signed up yet that I know are going will take the extra spots, but we can double up. Okay. So, so far, so good. It looks like this, okay? So we're gonna take our card base back and we're gonna put dimensionals on the back here. And I do have some here that I need to use up. Aw, uh, thanks, Dorothy. I did have a hot toddy the other day. Um, do any of you remember those? It doesn't taste very good, but it seemed to help a little bit. I didn't want to miss tonight, though. <laughs> okay, so this is going to go on a little bit higher than um, centered, okay? And it's kind of nice because you can um, center it with the lines in the paper. Okay, so, so far, so good. Then I 
couple of little tags here. This is just um, three eighths of an inch, and this is just um, I just um, flagged the ends. I'm going to cut it off a little bit, and this is watercolor paper. It's the Fluid 100 watercolor paper. Now you don't have to use this, but I wanted it to match this because there is a difference. Okay, so we're going to cut this off a little bit too. Okay, so I, all I did was take my scissors and flag the ends. Okay, so this is going to go on right here. And then I'm going to take this one and put it over. Hey, Doris. And Kim. Okay, so see, I have that on there. Now what I'm going to do is add some little sequins. And these are so cute. They're different sizes. And what I do first is I just, um, let me move this down a little bit. I just put the glue on here because it's too difficult to put it on the sequins itself. And I just pick it up and, oops. Put it down there, and I'm going to do a different size here, a smaller one. Let's see if I can find a. Oh, yeah. Nope, that's not a smaller one. I'll put one right. They're so small. They're so cute, though. Here's a smaller one. So there we go. There was already glue on here. But now it's sticking to my finger. Okay. And then what I'm doing is adding some, some of the rhinestones just for another effect. Okay, so here is the outside of your card. All right, so we're going to do the inside. And I'm not using watercolor paper on the inside, so I have to be pretty careful on, on the watercolor. And I don't want the paper to get too wet. Okay, so we're going to take the stamp. And just down the side here. Hey, Courtney. See you, Deb. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I'm just going to start with the, the lemon lime twist on this one since it's already on the brush. Okay. Um, and ladies, I do want to mention to you that um, one of the benefits for joining my team is you get all of my PDFs, the ones that are normally for sale, you get them for free. So it's a nice benefit to get those. And, um, Anyway, I'd love to have you on my team. We have a really fun team, and the ladies are on my team are really nice. And I always get that 
I, I'm really happy because that's what a lot of the ladies say is that um, they really enjoy the team, that everybody's really nice. So if you're interested, I'd love to, to talk to you about it. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so we're going to change to, and this gives it a little bit different shading too. Because it's not watercolor paper. It doesn't absorb like the watercolor paper does. But it's still pretty. <laughs> hey, Tina. Are you on vacation still? I did post our um, team meeting on our team page. We can check it out. Okay, so we're going to put this together. And if you notice, when you emboss, um, heat emboss, it sometimes will warp the paper too. So you want to make sure you get it laid down pretty well. You can see here it's not laying down as well, so I don't like that. Sometimes you have to play with it a little bit. That's good now. Uh, happy birthday, Tina. I think it's the 9th, isn't it? I think it's Friday, if I remember correctly. Oops. That's so nice, Tina. I'm glad you're able to do that. Okay, so here is your first project. I hope you like it. Okay. All right, so we're going to move on to the next one. Let me grab my stuff. Okay, so this is what the next one looks like. Okay. All right, so what we have here is a piece of cardstock that is five and a half by eight and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter. Okay, so there you go. There's the card base. And then we're going to do a little cheating here. I have a piece of um, basic white, and this is three and an eighth by four and a quarter, which is going to go on here. But I wanted to cheat, and for, for two reasons. I wanted, I want to save on the DSP, which I could have just cut a piece of white and put that on there as well. But then I don't know if I have it lined up exactly from top to bottom. So what I'm going to do is I cut two of these. And these are three by three quarters. And I'm going to line one at the top and one at the bottom. And then I know I have them lined up correctly. Okay. like that. Okay, then I'm going to put this one down on the bottom. Uh, thank you, Ramona. And just wiggle it till I get it in place. Okay, so now I'm going to put it on here. And I'm not wasting the DSP behind there because this is going to go on top of it. So no one will ever know. And again, I'm going to line it with the top where the fold is because if there's anything that needs to be um, trimmed off, I'll trim it off the bottom. And that way I won't cut the fold. And I just go like this to get it lined up, right? That looks good. And I think I'm good on the bottom as well. Okay, 
So now I'm going to do some stamping on the watercolor paper. So um, which one did I use? I used this one. I'm going to stamp this twice. And one is going to be higher into the left. But I am going to, before I put the next one on, I'm going to heat emboss this one so I don't stamp over top of it. Okay, now I'm going to stamp it a second time and repeat, repeat the process. By the way, I do have the PDF already done, so that will be on my blog tonight, which I'm happy about that. Some more on the side here. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to do some coloring, and I'm going to start with Melon Mambo. And this is going to go pretty quickly. Only thing with this stamp, you have to be careful because um, the first time I stamped one a couple of weeks ago, um, it looked like it was the leaf, and it's not. It's the flower, so you have to make sure you get over here where the flower overlaps the leaf. So I think I got it. Okay, and then we're gonna do this side. Now this um, image, I don't have any of the bubble bath on it, just the Melon Mambo and the Lemon Lime Twist. Yes, Kristen, um, I, I will have it posted tomorrow. I'm playing catch up still since I got home. It looks like I missed a couple of the Melon Mambo, so I'm going to come back and do those. I'm going to miss them. It's funny how once you change colors and you start coloring, you can see where you missed part of the previous color. Oh, 
Okay. I'm going to pick up the, the Melon Mambo again. Um, you just squeeze it one time to get enough in the cap. You don't want to keep squeezing it because then there will be too much water. There. Okay, so that's good. And then we're going to back it with a piece of the lemon lime twist. Thanks, Tina, for sharing. I appreciate it. Okay, and I'm going to trim off the bottom just a tiny bit. Perfect. Okay, so, oh, we're going to put a bow on here. And remember, ladies, if you want these make and takes, just be sure to use the host code here and place your order by Saturday. And what we do is we cut all the make and takes at one time. Okay, so trim this on this side as well. All right, so this is going to go up on dimensionals here. Yes, Steph, it is watercolor paper. It's the Fluid 100. Uh, thanks, Tina. I appreciate that. Yes, Nancy, that's what you do. Just make sure it's a little damp. Not really wet or you won't be happy with the results. Okay, so we're going to put this down right here. Okay. And then I have a piece here, just a piece of watercolor paper, and I'm using the Happy Birthday from the Go To Greeting set. And I'm going to try and line it up on the bottom here, and then I'll trim it. Okay. Pretty good. Oh, I'm going to trim off the edges too. Okay, so I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals behind this. Ladies, I wish you could see these cards in person. They are really, really pretty. Their camera is not doing them justice. I'm just going to push this down because it's going over top of ribbon. Okay. And then, let's see. I'm 
All right, I'm going to bring these back in. Put a couple little bits of one here. All right, so the first one, let's put one of these down. Try to get a smaller one. How good I got one. And then, let me see, I'm going to put a small one right here. All right, let me put these away. And I'm going to add a couple of the rhinestones. Okay, so here is the outside of your card. And we're going to do the inside now. Okay, so I'm going to just do something simple on the inside. Um, I'm just going to, let's see. Just do a portion of this. We did have a great trip, trip, Karen. It was so nice. Um, the hotel we stayed at in London was called the Queen's Gate, and it was so pretty. Um, it was by Kensington Palace. And anyway, um, you guys can look it up. It's called the Queen's Gate Hotel. It's a, it was a little boutique hotel. And then um, something kind of cool, we went to... Um, this restaurant, the first time we didn't know, it was an Italian restaurant called DeMar DeMario's. And it was really good. We sat outside the first time. And then on the way back from a tour, the bus driver told us to, um, was telling everybody places to go eat. And the, he mentioned that restaurant. And he said that um, um, Princess Diana used to take her boys there for pizza. And sure enough, we ate inside the next, that time. And there were pictures there on the wall of her. And then um, we sat next, the table next to where she used to sit. Because we asked the waiter and he goes, yeah, they used to sit right here. And on the stairs, it also said um, there was a tribute to her as well. So it was kind of neat to have that memory, you know. Okay, so we're going to put this together, but I do have a piece here of the, but I don't like it this thick. I want to trim it down a little bit, trim this off, and then I'm going to make it a little smaller. It looks too thick to me. Okay, so we're going to put this on. 
right here. Okay. And I'm just going to put the glue on here so I don't have to worry about um, dropping the piece. Well, I have lots of practice, Bonnie. Okay, we're going to put this down and then your second card is done. Again, it's got to make sure you get it on so it's not bubbling from the embossing. Sometimes it does that. All right, so we're going to put this on the inside, and then this card is done. So, so far, ladies, I think we've had four or five people join our team this month. I would love to have you as well. Here you go. Here is your second project. I hope you like this. Okay, so now we're moving on to this one. And I just think this is so darn cute. He has these little chocolate coins in it from um, Starbucks. <coughs> and these coins are like three inches in diameter. Okay, and a confession here, I did have three of them, but I ate one. <laughs> okay, so let me grab this stuff. Let me grab that. Okay, so we have a piece of cardstock here, and this is four by four and three eighths. And on the four inch side, it's scored at three eighths and three and five eighths. And then you turn it and you score it at two and two and three eighths. Okay. Judy, I'm glad you like them. Okay, so I'm just holding on the score lines. Okay, so let's just trim this up right here and here. I'm just cutting that score bump out. I apologize if my voice sounds funny. It sounds funny to me too, so. It's been crazy. Seems like every time I go away, I get sick. <laughs> Maybe that's a sign I shouldn't go away. Okay, so I'm going to hold this down. Oh, I'm glad, Courtney. I am going to, I am planning also a bingo for my customers um, within the next month, I believe. If you're interested, let me know, and I'll make sure you know about it. Okay, so I got, oops. Okay, so now I'm going to put some glue here. And these are just going to fold in. Okay. So here's your little box, and as you can see, these will fit in here perfectly. Oops. That one in the back. That, see? Perfectly. Okay. So let me show you what I have here. I die cut 
two of the largest circles and one of the same size. And this is um, in the glorious gingham. So I'm going to put these together. And I'm only doing this because this is too, I, I wanted it to be a little thicker. So I'm just going to put the blue on here. <laughs> Tina, they're so good too. I started a diet today and cheated already today. How many of you do that? <laughs> okay, so what we have here is we're gonna I'm gonna put these in here so I make sure that I get this right. And I'm just gonna see how it covers it up completely. And this will help me get it glued on there right. Okay, so I'm going to put the glue up here, but then I'm going to go down to kind of an angle like that so I don't expose the glue. So I'm going to put this on towards the bottom and watching from side to side, but also making sure that it's straight across so that um, the gingham is straight. So... And it should be easy to do because you have it lined up here and here. So it looks, um, I think I need to twist it just a tiny bit. Okay, it looks good. Okay. All right, so then I'm going to turn it over and put the other one on the back with the stitching towards the outside. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the glue on here and go down to the, like a tornado almost. And we'll put that on here. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to take my ribbon and tie a bow around this. And then we have some stamping to do. And I kind of like this bow to be a little bit bigger, kind of like flappier. Yes, they are um, milk chocolate. I got them at Starbucks. See what I mean by flap here? I want them a, a little bit bigger. Okay, so I'm going to put this off to the side. And then I'm going to stamp. This is the watercolor paper again. And this time I'm using another stamp from this set. Um... Wendy, I'm not, I don't think so, but um, if you tell me what ribbon you want to do, I'll give you the dimensions. I'll make one up for you. Okay, so we're going to stamp this here. I'll make sure that it fits. Yes, it is a four-letter word. My friend came in to help me today, and she saw, I bought that Golo stuff. She saw it on my counter. She goes, did you, did you do, start that? I go, yeah, today, but I cheated today, too. Okay. Oh, and just give you an idea, Wendy. Here's the here's the ribbon, and it's just about the same size as a circle, 
but it would never fit in here. It's um, So if this is the size that you want, I can make one for that and let you know. Okay, so we're going to get back to coloring. And I'm going to start with the green since there's green on my brush. So I'll just start here. Okay, we'll switch over to the um, Melon Mambo. Okay, and then I'm going to just add a little bit of the bubble bath. And the centers of the flowers. Okay, so now I'm going to move this out of the way so I don't mess it up. Um, we'll bring this back in. And I am using the circle die from the stylish shapes. This one right here. That fits this exactly. It's funny, everybody. Um, usually looks for the same stuff and I'm glad it makes me feel good that I'm doing something that you guys like. Okay. So then we're going to put this on here. What would be really cute too um, is if you, I wonder if, Oh, I got a great idea, I think. Hold on one second. Let me see. Okay, so we have this, and we're going to put dimensionals on the back. Hopefully I have what I'm thinking, and I'll show you. Um, Courtney, I go through plates like crazy. Look how cute that is. And then we're going to add some rhinestones and some of these cute little gems. So let me see. I'm going to put one here and one here. And then I'm going to take the rhinestones. Oops. And here. Here. And I think I'll put one up here. Oops. Okay, so here are the projects for today. Now hang tight with me just a second.
I got an idea if I can find it on my thing here. I thought I had a Starbucks card. Oh, it won't fit. Shoot. I would have to make it a tad bit bigger, but you could stick a Starbucks card in here too. This won't fit this way, but I would have had to make it like um, a quarter of or three eighths of an inch larger um, for the gift card to fit in there. But wouldn't that be cute as well? But anyway, um, I hope you like the projects today. Remember to use the host code um, if you'd like these make and take sent to you. I will have this on my blog tonight because I already have the PDF done. Um, if you're interested in the um, DSP sale, that's going on for the entire month, and it's for all the DSP that is the twelve ninety or twelve fifty in cost. Um, you get fifteen percent off. And one last thing, if you are interested in signing up as a hobby demonstrator or a business demonstrator, I'd love to have you on my team. Um, so reach out to me if you'd like to hear more information. So ladies, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful night. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.